Elijah McLean's mother wiped tears from her eyes as a verdict was read Monday acquitting a second Denver area police officer in the 2019 death of her son. Point two of three officers to face trials so far avoided prison time after being found not guilty. I in the most recent trial, a 12 person jury found Aurora officer Nathan Woodyard, who put McLean in the neck hold, not guilty of homicide and manslaughter following a weeks long trial in state district court. He faced years in prison if convicted, Shanine McLean sat in the front row of the courtroom and left with a fist raised high, just as she did after the first trial last month against two other officers. She declined to comment, but a supporter who accompanied her called the verdict pathetic and assigned that the justice system was not changing, Colorado Attorney General Phil Weiser said outside the courthouse with the prosecuting attorneys by his side that his office was undeterred in its pursuit of justice for Elijah McLean. A third officer was convicted in the earlier trial of the lesser charges he faced negligent homicide and third-degree assault. Two paramedics from the Aurora Fire Department are awaiting trial later this month. Unlike the first two officers who were prosecuted, Woodyard took the stand during his trial. But well, we respect the jury system and we accept the outcome. We remained undeterred in our pursuit of accountability and justice for Elijah McLean. At this moment, I'm thinking about Shanine McLean, who has fought hard to keep her son's memory alive and to live on as a blessing. No mother should go through what she's gone through. We must all do what we can to stop the unlawful and unnecessary use of force that can result in people dying at the hands of law enforcement. As I've said before, only then will we have true justice and accountability. I am very proud and grateful for the team behind me and those who worked on this case. They presented strong cases against the officer involved in the death of Elijah McLean on trial here. And just in a few weeks, the trial against the paramedics will begin. And I know the team handling that case will do their very best work.